That whole phenomenon is called time dilation. And if you take it to the limit, let's take it to the limit. Is there anything around that actually moves at the speed of light? Sure is. It's not a material uh, matter. It's light moves at the speed of light. Photons, the carriers of light, move at the speed of light. So if time slows down as you approach the speed of light, then the equations tell us that at the speed of light, time stops. That means if you were a photon, time does not pass for you at all. Now that has some freaky, spooky consequences. What that would say is that the instant a photon is emitted anywhere in the universe, typically they come out of atoms or they'll be sent out by a star, the instant it is emitted, it gets absorbed at its destination, if you're the photon. For the rest of us, we're watching it move at the speed of light across the galaxy or across the universe. But to the photon, time does not elapse. Hundreds, thousands, millions, billions of years of our time are zero time for the photon. And I, I've reflected on this often. I've been on mountaintops with my telescope and a detector, observing the center of the galaxy. That was the subject of my PhD thesis. What was going on 30,000 light years away? And I kept thinking, these are photons that have been journeying for 30,000 of my years. And they come through the vacuum of space, enter Earth's atmosphere, come down, they happen to hit my telescope mirror, focus down on my detector, there they are. And I'm using their existence to help me deduce the nature of the galaxy. Then I asked, did the photon want to hit my detector? If it didn't, where would it land? There's some people laying out on a beach. <laughs> some of these photons are hitting people's bottoms, okay? I don't know if that... <laughs> Imagine being emitted and that's the first thing you hit. Someone's rear end who's sunbathing on a beach. So I felt kind of proud that I could take some of those photons and use them to deduce the nature of the universe because plenty of other photons would have passed Earth by in search of where they would end up becoming absorbed. And so uh, such is the, the, the plight of the life of a photon because in fact, since time doesn't tick for it at all, it actually has no life. All that exists about it is what we what we say, what we do with it when it arrives here. That's a curious duality in the existence of this particle. From its own point of view, the universe goes by in an instant. And for us, we bask in the time it takes for the photon to reach us.